What's up, baseball players? Coach Dan Blewett here. In today's video, we're going to cover some infield throwing technique and some fielding technique. So we're going to talk about funneling and the importance of bringing the ball to your center when you're an infielder. We've got some slow motion overlays of video that I'll show here. And we're also going to talk a little bit about the hand mechanics and the timing of infield throwing. So infield throwing mechanics are really important um, and they don't have to be super complex. And there's just a couple key tenants that we're going to touch on here. So without further ado, let's go to the first video. All right. So right here, what you're going to see, this is in pregame, but you're going to see these guys working hard, um, even though it's pregame. So they're not going to be going through the motions. They're going to be going through in full speed, even though this is in uh, 480 frames per second. So really slow-mo. So right here, A, let's stop it. You see he traps it with his hands. So this is like that dorky dad stuff that we teach when we're uh, eight years old. But it's it, it plays. It plays at all levels. So he uses his top hand because if that ball takes a weird hop. He's on turf, but it takes a weird hop. His hand's going to be there to help corral it and keep it in front of him. Now, this is the important thing. So that right there is the act of funneling. And this is when he brings the ball to his center because that's his safe place that he wants to keep the ball because now as he moves his feet, then his hands can separate from the same consistent location uh, no matter how many shuffles he takes, no matter how much time he has or how little time he has. So now you can see his feet transition and his hands start to separate right in the act of funneling. So it's very, very fast. Obviously, this is in very slow-mo. And, uh, and let me go back here for a quick second. So again, as you see, that ball hits his glove and it's all happening at once it's he's vacuuming up bringing it up to his middle as it's going to his middle his feet start to move so their ankle obviously is the third baseman the ankle lands points to his target his chest is now closed his eyes are on his target his shoulders point at his target and now he's getting in a good position to then shuffle and make that long throw so let's go to another example here so here's another infielder trading off. So as the ball approaches, you're going to see the same thing. Top hand trapping it again, even though your dorky dad taught you that when you were six or seven or eight, it plays at all levels. It really is an important factor. And then again, he vacuums it up to his center and I'll back it up in a second. And that immediately gets his whole body in a good position sideways. So again, throwing position here is, is consistent in all positions. Your back ankle and your front ankle are going to be aligned with your target. You're going to be closed, which means his chest is perpendicular to the way he's throwing. And then as he starts to continue to move his feet, I'll let this play here. His hands are going to separate as he goes through his footwork. Cause again, a third baseman might have a lot of time or a little. His glove arm is going to sort of swim out as his throwing arm pinches back. The hips turn first, the chest opens up, and then the arm comes through. So let me go back to his funneling one more time. So again, right here, hits his mitt, brings it to his center. He's got a little more time. As it comes to the middle, his feet start to move. They start to get in line to the target. And now he's off to the races. Again, he's got his hands in his center. So now he can take as much or as little time as he wants and still be in a good throwing position with his hands originating at the center of his body. So that's a really important concept, bringing the ball to your middle. So now when you're here, you can do anything you want, just like a football quarterback. You can get rid of it right away. You can get rid of it right away that way. You can take five shuffles if the guy's big and fat and slow and hit a missile at you, right? If you have tons of time, now that you got the ball here, you can shuffle, 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 and get rid of it when you're ready. Or, like I said, you can get rid of it immediately. So infield throwing mechanics, they're really super important, and it starts with the footwork. So all high-level players, whether it's college or pro, they're doing what you just saw with these two guys. They're funneling the ball to their middle. They're moving their feet at the same time at full speed. It's almost like bang, bang. It looks very smooth one motion. And as soon as they do that, they're almost instantly in a good throwing position with their chest closed to their target. So if they're throwing this way, chest is not facing their target. Ankles are getting in a line towards whatever base they're throwing to. And then it's right to left, left to target. 
and boom, the throw is on its way. So hopefully you, hopefully you enjoyed this video on infield throwing mechanics. Again, it's really important. There's just a couple quick tips about it. But again, leave me a comment in the, uh, in the video description below. You know, what else do you want to see? What else, what other concepts that I might have slow motion video of would you like to see me talk through and explain? Because, you know, again, a lot of this stuff isn't super complex, but when we break it down on slow motion, it's a lot easier to see, a lot easier to coach, and a lot easier to learn as players. Thanks again. I'm Coach Dan Blewett, and I'll see you here in the next video.